Welcome to Culture Crash, where we examine American culture, what's new and old in books, film, and entertainment. Screenwriter Aaron Sorkin says that to him, dialogue is like music. He loves the cadences, the nuance of spoken word. Perhaps that's why in most Aaron Sorkin scenes, conversations become duels. Words are pointed, and if you aren't paying attention, you could miss the key to the scene. His writing is the stuff of legend. Of course, everyone knows his big scene from A Few Good Men. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! He's also responsible for writing The West Wing, The Newsroom, and what may be his finest work, The Social Network. The Social Network features characters showing more fight with their language than most shows or movies can manage with characters' fists. We know exactly what our protagonist wants and why, and it is expertly set up in a whirlwind conversation that starts the movie, where we learn what makes Sorkin's Mark Zuckerberg character tick and his central motivation for the rest of the film. He wants to be noticed, even to be loved. That scene is a grueling five minutes of awkward missteps and conversational deviations, exactly the way our real lives work. His less universally beloved, but I think still excellent movie, Steve Jobs, elevates the art of argumentation in a standoff between Steve Jobs and his rival former CEO of Apple, John Scully. You're going to end me, aren't you? You're being ridiculous. I'm going to sit center court and watch you do it yourself. The discussion brings the audience into the past to finally answer questions long unaddressed, and then jumps back to the present to give those answers perspective, and it never gives the viewer a second to breathe. Usually, a scene where character motivations and plot devices are explained is boring. It's the reason harsh criticisms of movies will often say it had too much exposition. But Sorkin has the ability to litter his works with scenes where this kind of exposition is not just bearable, but downright entertaining. His catalog of work is vast and his impact on the screenwriting community is impossible to quantify. If dialogue is the music like Sorkin says it is, then he is the master composer of our time. I'm Evan Rook.